Over the years, we've gotten a number of questions about the soapstone seal and wood wax. So this is our most frequently asked ones. We're going to try to cover here in a you know, bullet type format so you don't have to go through the whole video to try to find some of those questions you wanted to know. So how do you apply it? Well, I like to use an inside of an old sock and rub it on. I think that that's a nice applicator. Um, doesn't brush on real well, no foam brush, no roller, basically a rag applicator is the best way to apply it. How long does it take to dry? Well, it takes about five to seven days to dry hard. I mean, actually full, full cure is about 15 to 30 days. So during that five to seven days, you still want to be careful about having water on it or leaving, leaving heavy water sit on it, you know, big water, big spills, that kind of thing. Um, but it does dry pretty quick overall. If you're doing a sink inside of a sink, uh, soapstone sink countertop or even a, uh, a um, concrete sink countertop, you want to really give them at least that seven days curing time before you would start filling them up with soapy water because of course um, soap like soap like ivory dish soap and those kind of things are meant to disperse oils so they're immediately going to start attacking it and trying to wear it away but once the polymerization occurs it holds up strikingly well for long periods of time even to uh, soaps that are meant to take out uh, oil oil based things what can it be applied to and what not well, it can be applied to a lot of different surfaces. It can be applied to, to, of course, soapstone, concrete, concrete countertops. This is a great, great product for that. It can be applied to rusty metal, uh, tools. It can be used on to, to, to uh, stop your tools from rusting. It can be used out in your workshop on top of your, your cast iron tabletops for all of your tools. Um, can be used, we're going to do a video on how to, how to seal your wood stove. So your cast iron wood stove, it's a great preventative thing for after you're done with it for the season, oil it up, let it dry, keeps it a nice black look, you know, through the season, and then it, it, it'll burn off a bit, you know, when you, when you turn your stove on again. Um, of course, wood, you know, any food safe contact items, countertops, bowls, spoons, all those kind of things, all great for the soapstone sealer and wood wax. Um, it, it is a naturally drying oil and it'll waterproof them. And I'm sure there's more things we could come up with and pretty good list. Let's see, allergic reactions to the walnut oil. We've not had a, re a reported allergic reaction to it, even though it is walnut oil. It is cooked in order to bring the carnauba wax into solution in the oil. So that helps the oil polymerize and does change the structure a bit. So I um, can't say that no one would have an allergic reaction to it. I'm saying we never had a reported one in the 10 years that we've, we've done it. Um, how do you apply, how, can you apply it too thick? Yes, you can. You, you, you can't necessarily apply it too thick on the countertop, but you could, if you apply it too thick and don't wipe it off, that's where the problems come. If you let it sit overnight or let it sit for a week, then it's going to be a thick film on there. Then you're going to have to resort to like paint stripper or lacquer thinner or ammonia or some kind of solvent or, or paint stripper to, to take it off and then get back down to your original surface again. How often do you reapply? Well, in, in corners where it doesn't get a lot of wear, if your soapstone looks good, don't reapply it. Leave it. Your best application is, is look for maintenance is if it doesn't need it, don't bother. So only when the soapstone, when the sealer wears away in places, that's the places you would reapply it. Don't have to go through an annual religious maintenance program where you have to, oh, I got to reapply it, reapply it January 1st every year, you know. No, so I have, I have some, a sample that I've had oiled for nearly 10 years and it still looks great today. Can I put it over mineral oil? That's the one big no-no. What will happen if it does go over mineral oil? Mineral oil is non-drying oil. So what can happen is it's fighting with the drying oil, the walnut oil, and it can have negative reactions, meaning it can get frosty or white or stay sticky. So uh, mineral oil, you really want to flush all that out of the surface the best you can, whether it's with a soap or a, a TSP or strip the surface down, really got to get rid of that mineral oil before applying the soapstone sealer and wood wax over it. How do I clean up and prep a countertop? Well, if, if, you, if you do have a countertop that's already been oiled, or I know there's other countertop wax products out there, that kind of thing, it's about stripping it. So you can, like I just mentioned before, you can strip it with ammonia, you can strip it with a paint sealer or a paint stripper, you could sip it, strip it with certain solvents, like citrus solvent, which we have would be a natural solvent you could use. And you could strip it with like lacquer thinners or acetone. 
those kind of things to get back to that you know bottom surface that has nothing on there and also clean up afterwards what can I use to clean the countertop well I mean you want to avoid after the after it's cured and you're using the countertop soap and water that's that's your best thing try to avoid harsh cleaners if you get a strong acid on there like like a really strong vinegar or something it's possible it could eat it away the benefit is if it does you just give it another little coat clean up that area so um, any strong cleaners are not the best to use over top of this so just try to be gentle and use a mild cleaner all right how long is it till i buff it off you want to let it sit 20 15 minutes minimum half hour or so and you can buff it off a clean dry cloth and buff it off till it's clean so there's no oil you don't want a thick amount of product laying on the surface if you let that sit on there and dry you're going to have a big mess and you're going to have to strip it off with a paint stripper or a solvent such as citrus solvent to get all that residue off of there so you want to keep it it's a very thin coating wiped off very thin how long do you how to store your soapstone sealer after you're done i like to store it i'll just store it in this container put it in the refrigerator it'll keep for an extremely long time you don't want to put it in extreme heat or extreme cold i mean the refrigerator is fine but there's no reason to freeze it or something like that that would be too extreme um, once you once you go to use your soapstone sealer again you might find there's a, a film on top you basically wring the inside of the jar peel the film out throw it away that's polymerized oil and the product underneath will be ready to go and, and good for you to use so how long does this last I've used containers of this product but I've had sitting around for gosh three four five years and what will happen is it might get a little bit crystally it'll have little pot little crystal polymerizations that start to form as the oil and, and wax tries to cure I've used it that way I mean basically you just wipe off the little spots and it seems fine sometimes it'll get a little bit of a, a of a smell to it but I've never heard never had it uh, not dry and and be in a rancid kind of situation um, so uh, that pretty much covers all I mean I know there's more questions out there and we'll do our best to continue you know keeping up with them on our website please visit one of our uh, retailers across the country and ask for soapstone sealer and wood wax. Thank you so much.